these needs and these prayer requests. Don't let a one of them go away unanswered. Jesus, take them out of these needs. Lord, deliver these needs. Break the yoke over of these needs, Lord, and set free these souls that Satan has held captive. Deliver them by the power of your Lord and Jesus. Lord God, I believe you right now that it should be even as I've asked you. I believe in Jesus as I hold in my hand these needs, that it should be even if I've asked you. I've asked in Jesus' name. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. As Peter said, seven gold have I none, but such as I have, I give to thee. I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that these needs be met. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that these souls be delivered. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that the sick tonight be healed. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that the yoke be broke. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you raise up the sick and set them free and save the lost. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you shake Tulsa and shake this part of the city line and bring forth revival of fires. Hallelujah. I feel the coals of fire in my soul. Raise your hands and receive Jesus Christ. Raise your hands and receive divine healing. Raise your hands and surrender your soul, mind and body to Jesus Christ. Raise your hands and say, Here am I, Lord. Take my body and dwell in it. Raise your hands and say, Lord, pour out of your spirit upon me. Raise your hands and say, Jesus, I'm tired of sin. Raise your hands and say, Jesus, I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of being oppressed. I'm tired of being addicted by these evil thoughts. Raise your hands. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm tired of being addicted. I'm tired of these evil thoughts. I'm A warning against my soul. Hola baja sana mo kaya lo masaya. Hola ba 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 yo sa tabakota la batalla. For the Lord your God would speak to you this night. And I say unto you, that if you will hearken to my voice, give ear to my commandments, keep my teachings, my statutes, and obey me in all things, that I, the Lord, will not allow any of these diseases and sicknesses and plagues that come upon the heathens. For I'm the Lord that heals you. And if you'll lift up your heads, lift your hands in holy praise without wrath and without doubt. I am the Lord that makes you whole. And I will set you free from all of the powers that has come against you. And Satan that's come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I will rebuke him and drive him away. For I am come to give you life. Look up, behold the Lamb that takes away the sin of the world, and by his stripes that you're made whole. Behold me, saith the Lord, for even now if you will call upon me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. For even the spirit of prayer is moving into this crusade, that if the people of this place will gather and pray and pray and seek me in the altars and seek me late and seek me early, I, the Lord, will come to you at a time of visitation where I've chose this time to visit Tulsa like Tulsa has not been taxed. For there is demonic powers and Satan spirits that I will drive from these premises and drive from your home. And it shall come to pass that if you will hearken to me and serve me, that I will bless your bread and your water and I will take sicknesses away from your household. Hear me now, say the Lord, for I am in your midst, and I am the Lord thy God that has come down to heal you and to deliver.
deliver you and to set you free. But you must release your faith in me. You must come back to it. You must uh, let your faith go. You must uh, trigger your faith. Uh, say of the Lord. Uh, and that we shall come to pass as you activate your faith uh, and turn it loose in me that I will make you whole. Miracles will be done for you. I will do miracles. I will work my marvels. Uh, I will work I will do my wonders. I will do my great sights and great signs in the midst of you. I will pour out of my spirit of the latter rain upon you. And your eyes shall behold and see the glory of the Lord. Lift up your heads in holy praise. Lift up your hands in holy faith. And it shall come to pass that I will smite the devil. I will smite the sicknesses and diseases and I will wash away your sins and your transgressions and your iniquities. I will pardon and I will forgive you, say the Lord, for I am come down to move for you and I will deliver you and I will set you free and you will come into that place of peace and quietness with me. I will bring you into the place of, of the depths and heights and lengths of Jesus Christ. For your eyes cannot see and your ears cannot hear what I'm about to do. Neither is entered into your heart. For if you can behold to see the great evils that I'm bringing on the wicked and on those that have transgressed my laws, I, the Lord, would warn you that if you continue in sin, the wrath of God will be revealed from heaven against you and against your households. But if you turn from your sins, and turn from your iniquities, and return unto me. I, the Lord, will drive these things away, and they will come up on the sinner. They will come up on the wicked. For I have not appointed you to wrath, but I have appointed you to obtain mercy. So call upon me. Hear me this day, saith the Lord. For this is the time of a sudden destruction and a calamity. And the Lord God is bringing forth awakening. Even in this hour, to the households, I'm bringing forth awakening to the ministry. For there is going to be a great shock and awakening in the world. And it shall come to pass as I stir my handmaids and my servants and awaken them. And as I shake them, said the Lord, there's going to be a spiritual awakening in the world. And the gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached into the asphalt parts of the earth. And it's going to come to pass that I'm sending forth my word and my spirit and my power and my anointings. And I'm raising up a great evangelistic move and a great missionary move that's going into all the world. And there's coming for the great move in Eastern Europe and Russia and even in Europe and millions is fixing to turn to Jesus Christ. Even the days of the great revivals of Wales will be only a drop in the bucket. The revival of Zusa Street will be a drop in the bucket to what I'm about to do. So lift up your heads to me while there is vessels here that will go into all the world and carry my message. I will send out an army and some of you have been elected to that place. Hear me this day. Lift up your heads, saith God, for I am now to come down to move in the midst of my people. Hear my voice and hearken to my word and receive my word and receive the stir. Return unto me. Return unto holiness. Return to righteousness. Return unto my dedications that I said before you. Return unto the true and the living way and search for me with all your hearts and you will find me say the Lord. Look up and receive me this day for a time that I have chose to move for you and to stir and to send out my army for I'm going to send thousands more the prize of thousands I'm going to send to Asia to Europe to Eastern Europe to Russia to Indonesia to Latin America, even into Africa, in the southern Africa, even back into the jungles, back into the areas of the interior where they, the remote parts they have not been heard. And I'm going to visit the earth with a quick work, 
going to cut it short in righteousness. I'm going to send out an army big enough that all the world will be reached speedily. Say of the Lord, I'm going to send out hundreds of thousands in all parts of the earth. Not only from this nation, but I'm going to raise up others in other nations. As this gospel goes to cities and islands and peoples and languages, even in those areas that they hear and receive me, I'm also going to speak and move up on and choose them and send them forth. And a time of visitation has now come. A time of revival. You will not see the end of 91 and 92 until you will know that a revival, a spiritual awakening has awakened in the earth, and not only in America, but in Europe, in Eastern Europe, in the far Asia, and even in far Indonesia. Hear me, my people. That is a time of setting out. That is a time of forsaking all. That is a time to forsake all and take up the cross and say, Lord, here am I. I will go for you. I dedicate my life. I dedicate my soul. I dedicate my possessions. I dedicate my talents to go and win souls and to break the yokes of diseases and the yokes of sicknesses. All of those that Satan has held captive. Hear me this night, say the Lord, and you will say, yes, here am I. I, the Lord, will put my spirit within you, and I will go with you, and lo, no evil shall touch you, no evil shall come up on you, and I will not leave you, and I will not forsake you, if you will answer this call, for even this night I am calling. Will you have the things of this world for a little season? Will you enjoy the pleasure of this life for a little season? How will you choose to suffer afflictions to carry the gospel? Will you choose to suffer persecutions? Will you be among those to choose afflictions with God's people and to be hated of all nations for my name's sake for a little while? Rather than enjoy the plague of sin for a season, you will come and choose me for eternity, and I will send you into all and the Lord God, after this life, I will reward you with a hundred foes in this life, saith the Lord, and after this life, eternal life, in the heavens with rewards, as you have gone, and work for me, I will reward you according to your works. So hear me this day, will you answer this great challenge, saith the Lord your God, will you hearken to me, saith Jesus, for even this night, I touch this place with my words. Even now, I'm pricking some hearts, touching some souls. And if you will turn around and render unto me, and rent your hearts and not your garments, render your hearts to me, and say, yes, Lord. But you say, were the people here you say, will the people hearken? I say unto you, all people is but grass. All people is like the great fields that's ready for the harvest. I am now ready to send you forth to reap the harvest. And I will gather the tares and bind them in bundles, put them into the furnace of fire, but the tares the tares will be cast away, and the wheat will be gathered into the great gathering place of my houses. My house shall be filled. Hear me this day as I separate the goats from the sheep, as I drive the goats out and bring the sheep into my foal, that there be one shepherd and one foal for other sheep of other nations that I have, they have not heard, that's not of this soul, but they must come and come into this fold and be one fold and one shepherd, one Lord, one baptism, one faith. And I will gather them in, says the Lord. Hear me this day that you might prick your hearts to be part of this great army. This is the Joel's army that I'm sending out to execute the prophet.
prophesy. As I have said, upon my sons and upon my daughters, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. Even your sons and your daughters will be touched in some that you have thought that Satan has bound and held captive. I will loose them and set them free from their bondage and send your daughters and your sons to the great hills. I will pour out my spirit upon your sons and your daughters. Upon my sons and my daughters, and they shall prophesy upon your young men and your old men and your handmaids and your servants. And they shall prophesy. And I will visit you with signs in the heavens and the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And this shall be a sign unto you. I'm going to jar the earth with three major catastrophes of earthquakes. You'll be in your headlines shortly. In a rotation and a change with thousands and multitudes will perish. And you will know this, that I am the Lord, and even a giant plane will crash as a sign that I have spoken. And you will know that I am the Lord, your God, that has declared this word. For behold, my people, if you could see, some have thought, and even the weather people have said the storm is past. But some of your worst storms is yet for the summer and the fall and some of the worst hurricanes and some of the worst electrical storms, some of the worst cyclones, hear me, even strong winds. These are signs and some of the worst hailstones is yet to come. But if you, my people, will hear me, it will come all around you, but it will not come by you. For I am the Lord your God that will protect you and sustain you and keep you. This is a sign unto you that I have come to stir you. For this revival is chosen by the Lord to choose to bring forth from this place an army to send another company into the great harvest field. Who will go for me? Who will say, Here am I? Who will look upon the fields that they are white? And I say unto you that you're not too young and you're not too old. Don't make up your excuses. For the Lord has chosen you. And I say unto you as I said unto my disciples. Foxes have holes. Birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere or no place to lay his head. Who will go? But they begin to make excuses because they didn't want to go with that promise. But I've never left them and I've never forsook them. And I always provided, even as I sent them out with nothing. I blessed them and they liked nothing. I provided their daily needs and so will I provide yours. Will you say, here am I, send me, for the Lord has spoken. Thank you. Lord, I bow my knees to you. Yes, Lord. I bow my knees to you, Lord, tonight. I get on my knees, Lord, to you. Yes, Jesus. Send me to Eastern Europe to Russia. To Romania, Czechoslovakia. Yes, Lord. To Turkey. Thank you, Jesus. To Russia. His word Send me to the African nations at some His reach. word was for right now. Send me to Can't y'all tell? His word is for right now. Help us, let's just seek Him, Lord. Help us to present our bodies to You. A living sacrifice. Help us right now. We bow our knees, bow our hearts. Jesus, I know that what we've heard tonight is for right now at this time. So come on and let's talk to him a few minutes. Lord, I believe your word tonight, God. This is a time. God, help us, Lord, to take advantage. God, of this open door that you've given to us. God, you've opened a space here. You've given us a space. God, to come into revival, to have a revival that you promised, Lord. God, you promised that you would pour out your spirit 
upon all flesh. God, help us tonight, Lord. Put ourselves in a position, God, where we can be those that you pour out your spirit upon. God, you said that when you move, none would hinder you, none could stop you. God, that which you purpose, Lord, it has to come to pass, Lord. Oh, God, help us, Lord, to get our houses in order. Help us, Lord, to get our war clothes on. Help us, Lord, to get our altars on fire. Help us, Lord, to get our scriptures read and our word hid in our hearts. God, help us, Lord, to stand on this promise, Lord. This is a promise, Lord. You said you were going to raise up a people, God, from among these areas, Lord. God, you said that you were going to establish these areas in the end time. God, where you would keep and sustain a people. But Lord, you said there would be an army that would come out of us. Oh, God. Lord, we're signing up for the draft. God, you're calling for warriors. You're calling for prayer warriors. You're calling for those that will present their bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable, Lord. God, help us to pray the acceptable prayer. Help us, Lord, to present our bodies acceptably unto you. Serve you acceptably with reverence and with godly fear. God, and get us ready, Lord, for this outpouring. Get us ready for this anointing, Lord. God, help us to get, Lord, everything in order. Get our minds renewed in the Holy Ghost, Lord, you told us. To present our bodies a living sacrifice. Lord, not conform to this world, but transform, Lord, by the renewing of our minds. God, help us to get in the mind of revival. God, help us to get in the mind and an expectation. Lord, expectancy. Lord, that you're about to move. You said, he that come to you must first believe. Oh, God, that you are, you are the I am that I am. You are the resurrection and the life. God, we don't have to wait for the resurrection. We don't have to wait, Lord, for that. God, now is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. You said now, faith is the substance of things. Hope for the evidence of things not seen, Lord. God, let our faith take us into this revival. Lord, let our faith take us into this outpouring. Let our faith, Lord, kick down the doors and the barriers, Lord, and to all the obstacles that stand before us, Lord. Help us to enter into a spirit of travail, a spirit of fasting, a spirit of praying, a spirit of standing in the gap. Lord, pray in all ways with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. God, help us, Lord, to enter in to this revival. Help us to strive, God. Help me to strive to enter in to the straight gate. Help me to strive, Lord. God, you said the kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent take it by force. God put a spirit of taking on us. God put a spirit of fighting upon us, Lord. God, you gi you've given us these promises, but you told us that we would have to fight for it. God, help us to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold to the revival that set before us. Lord, you said, God, a couple of weeks ago, you set before us an open door. You set before us life and death. You set before us blessings and cursing. God, it's up to us, Lord. It's up to us to, to fight, Lord, to fight the good fight of faith, to fight, Lord, with faith, to fight, Lord, in prayer. Help me to fight and cry, Lord, until I hear sound. Come
coming from heaven like a rushing mighty wind. Help me to fight in prayer, Lord, until I feel that fire. Lord, touch my lips, touch in my tongue, Lord, until I see the Lord high and lifted up, Lord. Help me to fight in prayer. Help me to fight, Lord. Help me to travail. Help me to reach, Lord. Stir me, Lord. Help me to stir myself. Awaken me. Awaken me to a revival. Awaken me to the spirit, Lord, of the resurrection power. Awaken me. Quicken me by that same spirit that dwell in Jesus. Let it dwell in me. Quicken. Quicken our spirits. God, quicken us in this church. God, quicken us in the other places where people are praying. God, we know this revival you gave us, Lord, wisdom and instruction that this revival would not come. Lord, it would start, it would have to start with prayer. It would have to start, Lord, where people would lay aside weights and sins and come aside, Lord, in, in their leisure time, seek the Lord. Oh, God, you said, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him, Lord, while he's near. Lord, we know you're near. Lord, you said you're near to them of a broken heart and of a contrite spirit. God, help us to break up our grounds until our spirits break. Help us to break up our hearts, Lord, till our hearts are contrite. God, help us to pray until we get desperate. Help us to pray, God, until it's an emergency to us. Help us to pray, Lord, until we're desperate. Help us to pray into this revival, God. This fire revival, Lord, pour it out upon us, Lord. Lead us into that deep water of revival. Lead us, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us. God, they were in one place. Lord, in one mind, in one spirit, seeking you, waiting upon you, Lord. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're waiting upon you, Lord, for that rushing mighty wind to come to our homes, come to our families. Lord, even those that are listening and praying with us online, Lord. God, let the anointing come into their prayer rooms. Lord, let the fire and let the anointing of your spirit come to their homes, Lord. Let it fill the house where they are right now. Let them fill the places where they're gathered right now, Lord. God, those that are listening in and praying with us, Lord, anointed with a spirit of prayer, a prayer that prevails, a prayer, Lord, that overcomes, a prayer that breaks the yoke, a prayer that casts out the devil, a prayer that overcomes the world, even their faith, God. God, charge their faith tonight. Those that are praying with us, Lord, give them a charge, give them a boost, God, give them an impartation of your spirit, of your anointing, of your power. Let your healing enter into homes. Let your healing enter into bodies. Let your healing enter into minds. Let your spirit oh, saturate us, Lord. Saturate us in the Holy Ghost. Saturate us in your anointing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lift up a mighty standard. Lift up a mighty standard. God, if the spirit of death went to every house and killed every firstborn, then the spirit of life can come to every house. God, if the devil can come down, then you can come down. Because God, you said we're sin about how much more than the grace of God about, Lord. God, help us, Lord. Help us through these times. Help us to arise and shine until the light come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help us. Help us that are praying. Help those that are praying 
online with us, Lord. Mark them with your mark. Put the mark of God on their lives, on their homes, Lord. Oh, God, choose them for this army. Choose them, Lord. God, we sign up for the draft. We sign up for this warfare. We sign up for this revival. We sign up to be soldiers. We sign up, Lord, to be sons of God. We sign up, Lord, to be the anointed of God. We sign up, Lord, to be those people that you pour out your spirit. We sign up, God, for those people that you're going to visit. Lord, we sign up for your army tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fill us with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Fill us with the power of the gospel, Lord. Fill us with the revelation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, Oh, the devil's trembling. I can feel it. God, the powers of hell are trembling because of the name of Jesus prevail. And the gospel prevails. And the revival prevails. And the people that are called by your name, that humble themselves and pray, are going to prevail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on and lift your hands and say, Lord. Put this anointing on me. You that are listening in online said, Lord, put this anointing upon me. Lord, here am I. Lord, I'll go. I'll go, Lord. I'm like Peter and John. Lord, I ain't got nothing. But God, I'll go if you'll give me something. Give me something to go with, Lord. I'll go for you, Lord. Anoint me. I'll go for you. Feel me. I'll go for you. Lord, if you'll touch me and be with me today. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for your word and your great promises. We thank you that you're about to do the greatest thing that you've ever done. And you've given us a chance to be a part of it. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, I sign up for your army tonight. I sign up to be one of those that you pour your spirit out upon. I sign up to be one of those, Lord. This endured with power. I sign up to be one of those that you send. God, to the lost souls, to the bound souls. Lord, to the wickedness that's in this world. To tread upon them and to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. 